Today I'm doing a challenge in collaboration with the beautiful Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner. We are doing the only using makeup starting with the letter D challenge. So if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and I'm the Makeup Enthusiast. In today's video, we are doing a bit of a challenge. And in today's video, it's going to be a collaboration as well. And I am collaborating with an amazing, hardworking YouTuber. And that is Annette from Annette Makeup Corner. Now, for any of you that haven't seen Annette before, I don't know where you've been living. You've obviously been living under a rock. But she is amazing. She's fantastic. She comes up with some of the most creative makeup looks. And she is also so hardworking. If you want a channel that is always on top of the new beauty releases and is always reviewing palettes as soon as they come out, make sure you subscribe to Annette's Makeup Corner because she is always, always able to find and source the new beauty palettes, the new eyeshadow palettes, the new makeup that has been released and she reviews them straight away. So if you want someone that is always reviewing the new releases and she also does a lot of indie brands, she does a lot of major brands. So if that interests you, I hope you would go consider subscribing to her channel. I'm sure you would love her. She is very hardworking. She posts videos nearly every single day of the week. So if you want someone that releases a lot more content than I do, <laughs> go check her out. So if any of you have seen Annette's channel before, she does videos where she pulls makeup from her collection, starting with a particular letter of the alphabet. Today I am collaborating with her on the letter D. Now I have gone through my entire makeup collection. This took me hours to go through my entire makeup collection and pull out all the products that start with the letter D. And in my box right here is everything that starts with the letter D. I have eyeshadows here, I've got blushes, I've got eyeliners, I've got lip products. There's a lot in here. Now for my base, I'm just going to use my normal products. I don't think I have a bronzer that starts with the letter D. So I'm just going to use any old bronzer. Same with my base products. I'm just going to use my normal foundation and concealer. But for the actual eye products and blushes, I haven't even looked to see if I have a highlighter starting with the letter D. But I might have a quick look while I'm doing my base. I was a bit shocked by the um, color story that I ended up with with my eyeshadows with my letter D. So this is the colors in my collection that start with the letter D. Now, this is a very different color story, I guess you could say. So this one here is from Suva Beauty. This one is from Kleena Cosmetics. All these three here are from Makeup Geek. And then these two here are from Glaminatrix Cosmetics. Obviously, it's going to be quite a purple look. Not mad at that. Purple is one of my favorite eyeshadow colors to work with. So let's jump on in and see what I can create with this as well as everything else I have in my box here. Let's see how this challenge goes and see where the look takes me. So starting off, I am going to put a base down. Now I'm quickly running out of like eyeshadow bases. So I'm just going to use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer for this look. I'm also going to zoom you guys in and so I'm just going to... Put a little bit of shape tape on both my eyes and I think that's way too much. I do this every time I put way too much on and then I look like an idiot. <laughs> yes, that's way too much. And I'm just going to do some setting of that base. Now depending on the eyeshadow, I always will set some form of my lid. In most cases, I will just set this bit right here so basically from my crease to my eyebrow just because I always find that this helps get the blend and the the fade on eyeshadows nicely when you're blending out this top edge of an eyeshadow Ooh, there is powder flying everywhere I'm gonna start off by taking this color right here this is Glaminatrix Cosmetics Darling just going on a what is this? This is a MAC 217. I'm tapping these off because the Glaminatrix Cosmetics shadows are very pigmented. And I'm running this through my crease. I'm not going to use all these shadows, but I think I'm going to try and use most of them just to add to the challenge. Just going to 
gonna go in with one of my really soft blending brushes. This is a Wayne Goss blending brush and I'm just running over that just to really, really blend this one out. Just on that same blending brush that I just used back into the color, darling, and just running this higher up towards my brow bone and just taking the tiniest, tiniest little bit of it. Now I'm going to go in with, I don't know how this is going to go, but <laughs> this is Desire from Glaminatrix again. And I'm just focusing this, focusing this into my crease, just the inner part here. Then into the colour Denaro, Denaro, <laughs> I think that's how you say it, from Super Beauty. Same brush and just on the outer half of this crease here. Then taking Dirty Martini from Makeup Geek and I'm taking this on a Real Techniques shader brush. Now this will make or break the look. On the right Ready? Now I'm just going to cut my crease, probably just like a half crease. I'm then going to use the color Daydreamer from Makeup Geek and I think on the outer, like the outer bit to blend into the color Martini I'm going to use the color Drama Queen from Makeup Geek. Just on a really small brush. Alrighty, I don't think I really like how this is turning out, but anyway. Um, so ordinarily I would do, I'm going to clean up all this fallout um, and then I'm going to jump off camera and do my base and then I'll come back and I'll do my lower lash line and everything else that I have in this box with you guys. So I'll be back. Okay, so I've done my base. We also did highlighter because I have zero highlighters that start with the letter D. Can you even imagine that that would be an issue? For my blush, I have the color Dainty here from MAC. I'm just gonna go ahead with my blush brush and apply this. Now for my lower lash line, I think I'm going to use the color, I don't even know how to pronounce it. This one from Suva Beauty, Denaru. And then move into Daydream from Cleona and then the Daydreamer. Whoa. Daydream from Cleona and then into Daydreamer from Makeup Geek. And I'm just using my favorite brush to use for my lower lash line. This is my Super Beauty 350. Just mess that up. In daydream. And then on a pencil brush, I'm going back into Daydreamer. And I'm just wrapping that around into my inner corner. Alrighty. <laughs> 
For my waterline, I only have these two that start with a letter D. So this is Dirty Talk, which is a gold from Colourpop, and this is the TLA, which is a blue from Colourpop. Now, I think I'm going to go with this one and see if I can apply it lightly and then it might blend in a little bit better with the rest of them. We'll see how... Okay, that's not too bad. It kind of just looks like a black. And I have a few um, colours that start with D. I think I might go with maybe this one or this one. So this is Dukes from Colourpop. It is one of their lippy sticks. It is like a darker matte colour. Or I have the Silver Beauty Dreamer liquid lipstick. I've got Devious from Bare Minerals. Um, or Descanso. I think it might be two new. I think I'm going to go with one of these three, but I don't know which one to choose. Hmm. Hmm. These two are very similar. Which one do you reckon? Mm, I don't know. I'm going to go with this one. And then maybe... Maybe not get it on my teeth. That would be a good start. My lip line looks ridiculous. So <laughs> I'm just going to clean that up. And then put some mascara on. And I'll be back for the final look. Alrighty, so this is the final look from all the colours in my collection that start with the letter D. Make sure to let me know down in the comments box how you think I went, what you would do differently with these shadows and also if you did enjoy this video and you'd like me to do more challenge videos like this where I pick random colours out of my collection and try and pair them together in a look then also let me know down in the comments box. I actually really like how this look turned out. I do think um, if I was going to do things differently I might maybe not mix this dirty martini color in then again it does like add that nice color gradient to the lid and like the matte look on the outer corner it did go a little bit patchy and it like mixing it together with the purple like mauvey burgundy tones it went a little bit muddy in color but i think overall it ties together well um but like i said it's probably not a color i would choose again if i was pairing this look together I probably would skip that one out and maybe use a black or like a really deep burgundy like deeper than this one like a black and purple yeah I think it's really interesting to pull the colors out of your collection that have the same like start with the same letter and you get like a quite a similar color story like I wouldn't have thought that pulling all the letters pulling all the shades out of my collection that start with the letter D would result in a purple palette but it did. It's very interesting. Even when it come to, even when it came to my lip products, like it was still quite purple deep based. So I really enjoyed this challenge. I really enjoyed how the look turned out. I think it was a fun little challenge. Uh, I can't remember what I was going to say. I do really like how this color daydream. Oh, the fact that most of these were called daydreamer daydream i ended up with two products called daydreamer and one called daydream i thought that was very interesting very funny um but anyway that's it for this video thank you once again annette for collabing with me on this video i really enjoyed this challenge actually i can understand now why you keep doing these because it is really fun to go through your collection grab out colors and also grabbing out colors that i haven't really touched all that much quite recently um most of these colors have kind of been wasting away in my collection so it was fun to grab them out and actually use them so i do understand and that why you continue to do this challenge because it is a really fun challenge and it's nice to have like a challenge with colors sometimes so i i get it now <laughs> i totally get it it is a fun challenge and it is a challenge at that so like i said thank you again for collabing with me on this video um, if you're from my channel i hope you go over to annette's channel and 
and check out her videos and consider subscribing. Like I said, she is the go-to girl for new releases. She is always on the pulse and she's always reviewing releases as soon as they come out and as soon as she can get her hands on them. And for me being an Aussie who usually has like a good couple of weeks, even if not months delay in when we can have access to those releases, it's really handy to have somebody that I trust reviewing those palettes, doing lots of looks and um, giving us her thoughts on those palettes for me to be able to consider whether I want to spend my money and purchase those palettes. So I find her reviews extremely helpful. I find her looks really helpful. She always really inspires me to push myself out of my comfort zone with colors and like techniques and whatnot. <laughs> so I really enjoy her channel and I think you guys will as well. And if you're here from my next channel and you enjoyed this video, you enjoyed me, I hope you would consider subscribing down below so you can keep up to date on all my videos that are coming out in the coming weeks. That's it for this video everyone. If you want to stick around and watch some more videos of me, there will be some on the screen right now that you can click through to. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Ciao.